All right, hello and welcome. So today we're gonna be going over the primed unvaulting uh, and what all comes in each of the individual packs. So we're gonna start with Ember and then move on to Frost and then show all the uh, extra side stuff at the end. Uh, so let's just get started on Ember. I am gonna talk about like the viability of these items uh, and all that stuff, not just how pretty they are, which they are very nice looking. Uh, so first we've got Ember. Ember herself is very, very useful for low level farming. Uh, but she doesn't really go much beyond that. She's got reasonable CC and stuff, but she's on kind of the lower end of doing that type of thing at endgame. Uh, so she's mostly gonna be used for like low mid-level farming uh, and then not really see much use in sorties and stuff unless you really, really want to play Ember. You can make her work there, um, but for endgame-ish stuff, she's she kind of falls off. But for those early game farms and stuff, it's kind of, she's, it's very hard to find better uh, for the low level farms where you can just kind of walk through the level and everything burns and dies. So she's got that going for her. Uh, and then we've got the Sycharis Prime. This weapon is abysmal. It does not even deserve to be called Prime. It's awful. It is mastery though, and it looks really nice. It's got a great reload animation. That's about it though. This thing, honestly, honestly, the Sycharis severely needs a buff and uh, Man, it's just sad that this weapon's so bad. Yeah, this thing's terrible. Yeah, I'm, yeah, this like this is wasting your time using this after you've leveled it. Moving on though, we got the glaive, which glaives have had a variety of uses in the past. There was a time whenever you could throw them into nullifier bubbles and use the explosion on them to destroy the nullifier inside, and that was incredibly useful for a while. That no longer exists. Uh, there's also a time whenever glaives could like you're doing the self damage and then utilizing that with the way trinity's four worked that has since been changed uh so right now as it stands since we don't have a reason to do damage to ourselves uh glaives don't really have much of a use and i don't foresee them suddenly having a comeuppance unless something crazy happens uh they are just over like overall just all of them are kind of in a weird spot right now where they're really really cool but they don't have any real actual use uh, i will say though that if you want to look really really cool astral twilight is a very fancy stance that this thing can use uh so overall in this pack ember is useful uh but these weapons they're not going to really do you any service moving on though the cosmetic in this pack the main cosmetic anyway uh, is the Pyre Prime Sindana. So this thing looks really, really nice. Uh, I just have it in Ember's like basic colors right now, uh, but we're gonna go through a few of them so you can see how it takes color. All right, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, it's it's okay on taking color. This thing is mostly its energy color by and large, um, but it's pretty nice. I personally like using this on Valkyr Prime because her back thing, whatever you want to call what's going on on Valkyr's back, um, doesn't really mesh very well with a lot of the Sindanas, but it does do quite well with this one. So if you're a Valkyr lover like I am, then this is very good use for this. Uh, moving on though, let's talk about Frost. So, here we have everything that comes in the Frost pack, uh, and this is much better overall, I'm gonna say, uh, with some caveats. Uh, so, Frost Prime himself is outstanding. Uh, he, he sees a huge amount of use. He has some of the best crowd control in the game. Uh, his three is near irreplaceable in defensive missions and we have we have a lot of defensive missions uh so his one is like really hard stun um and the only i would say his two is like a weak ish ability but it's really just because his other abilities are so goddamn strong frost is amazing he is a fantastic warframe that sees use pretty much everywhere like the only place you're not gonna see frost is if you're trying to speed run things. And even then, maybe, maybe you see a frost in that kind of case. Um, so him overall, amazing across the board. Um, yeah, frost is fantastic. Frost Prime is amazing. Uh, moving on though, we've got the Latron Prime. So this weapon is fine with a rather specific caveat that you have to like single fire weapons. You have to. 
uh, because the stats on this thing, they're okay. Uh, maybe you've got a Riven mod for this thing, and you can make it, like, pretty decent. You could totally make this thing compete with, mod like, uh, weapons like Soma and stuff. Um, but its firing is weird. So if you don't already know that you like single-shot rifles, may maybe be a little aware of that, that you're going to have to make some adjustments to use this thing. Overall, though, this weapon's fine. Uh, it's not going to, like, fucking set your world on fire or anything, uh, but pretty good. It's pretty good overall. And speaking of pretty good overall, we've got the Reaper Prime. So this thing is... It's got good stats. Stats on this thing are... Like, it's the second best Reaper. I think... I I'm... It's faster, but I think it's outclassed by hate personally. It's kind of a personal choice between hate and this, though, if I'm being super realistic about it. So this thing's only downside is that the stances really just aren't there for Reapers. They just don't do enough to take the stats that are good on the Reaper Prime and really push it to a really nice place. But because we will probably at some point get a good reaper stance, and the ones we have now aren't abysmal like the machete stances or anything, you could use this, like, very easily. You could, like, there's no reason that you couldn't do, like, a basic blood rush crit build with this thing, and then take it, like, 60 minutes in a survival. No reason you couldn't do that. It's a totally fine weapon, uh, and you can pretty much take it anywhere you want to. Uh, and then on this one, we have the main cosmetic of having the Misa Prime Sandana. So this thing takes color really, really well. Uh, much better than the Pyra. I mean, every every color combination that I've seen on this thing has looked amazing. So we're just going to go through a bunch of them. Like, I haven't seen a bad one yet. Like, I don't even know if it's possible, honestly. It just looks so nice. Yeah. Outstanding looking Sandana. Uh, worth noting that it, um, it will clip sometimes. Like, it will clip in, like, just, like, at the foot there. Uh, because if it's large tail, I don't know how to call that. Um, but it will clip with larger Warframe's legs, especially Warframe's that have skirts and stuff like Oberon's, um... Deluxe skin and things like that. So be aware of that, but otherwise this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that is all of the items and the basic cosmetics. So now we're going to talk about the rest of the stuff that comes in the pack. Uh, so one of those being... Where's it at? The Titan Extractor Prime. So these are incredibly cheap to build. Uh, and these basically you can deploy them on a planet and then it will fill up for double. It takes longer to fill up. Basically, you just it's an extractor that you have to check less, is pretty much exactly what this does, which is fine. Uh, they're very, very cheap to make, so you can just have a fleet of these instead of the regular Titan extractors. I just take a different material set. Uh, but yeah, these are very good, um, and this, uh, this blueprint lasts forever. You can just keep reusing it over and over and over, so... Build a fleet of those, and then you can put those on planets. It's worth noting uh, that this is Titan Extractor Prime. There's also the Distilling Extractor Prime, which is not a thing you get. But I would personally say that the Distilling Extractor Prime is actually worse than the Titan Extractor Prime because this tries to go for rare materials, but but components for Fieldron, these uh, Fieldron samples and uh, the Detonite Ampules and those types of items are considered rare for the purposes of the Distilling Extractor Prime. Which means that this has significantly less value than just getting like a shit ton of basic resources, uh, in my opinion. Uh, just because you're not going to get like the neurodes and stuff that you would actually want to get more often with this. By and large, you're going to get fucking detonite ampules and shit that is actually completely useless to you. So, good to note that this is actually the better of the extractor primes. Uh, and then we've got the glyphs. Uh, so the glyphs slash profile icons. Uh, you've got the ember ones, and these can be... thrown down anywhere. Um, they're all they're all square and big like this. So those are the ember ones. And we've got... It's not under this, it's under profile. We've got the ember ones here, they come in light and dark. Uh, and then you've got the frost one. Uh, which that says it costs 15 platinum for some reason. Oh, it went away. Okay, that was a weird bug, but yeah. 
yeah, that's what that looks like. I like the frost ones better personally if you're going to use these at all. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff in the uh, in the packs besides the platinum, of course, which you will also get. I think it's 1,200 if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, the prime unvaulting. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Later, everyone.